Hey guys, welcome back, it's Matt here, and today I'm going to be showing off my Android device, but before I do, I would just like to say we're almost at 40,000 subscribers, which is totally insane, so if you haven't already, definitely do click subscribe down below. But in terms of my home screen setup, I've been switching between stock One UI and also Launcher, which is a really cool launcher that's based on the Pixel and it's very customizable, lots of options and things to tweak. And honestly, my experience with it has been buttery smooth. And so I think I've made that whole sort of step from Nova Launcher over to Launcher. So I'll be leaving a backup link down below and I will leave a link to the Telegram thread. If you don't know what Telegram is, it's like a big messaging app and you can go ahead and join messaging chats. But basically you can go and pick up the newest version, which is Launcher 2 and it's some beta version, but it's extremely good. It's jam packed with features and just go and check it out for yourself. But yeah, I've been sticking with Launcher. It feels a bit like stock Android, like, uh, like a Google Pixel or something like that, but it has a little bit of a twist to it because I can customize it in any way I want. And something I really like is that the widget on the home screen, it actually changes depending on your notifications or whether you have alarms or just any sort of reminder. It will change even before you go to bed, it will say good night and you can click on it, get quick access to your messages or reminders, as well as it shows you the weather underneath, but it's just pretty handy for reminding you things and it definitely keeps me up to date on things that I'm totally meant to be doing that I completely forget. Icon pack is the same as usual, I'm just using this Pixel icon pack. All the links that I mention will be down below, so go check it out and you can find everything listed below, including the wallpaper. But I've been sticking to dark mode, I have the Samsung dark mode turned on, I've got dark mode in all of the Google apps, apart from Gmail, Google. Just a heads up, but yeah, Android 10 hasn't come yet. I've seen some leaks of One UI 2, which does look pretty nice, I must say, um, but I definitely do like to keep it as much stock as I can. I have this five by six grid on my home screen. Uh, just like the icons a bit smaller and just a little bit more clean, it leaves a bit more space, but I tend to only put them on the bottom half of the screen. They're just a little bit more reachable and I personally just like it a bit better than reaching up to the top. So I tend to keep the top half of my screen for these widgets, like on the first page and over on the second page, I have this really nice sort of calendar widget. I think this is just the stock Samsung one if you're curious. Um, and I've got the transparency set to 100%. Something else I really like about Launcher is you can have this sort of Google panel on the left and you can get all of your Google news and information there, which is especially nice as I don't really like Bixby too much. In terms of my actual app drawer, I have some recommended apps at the top. I have a pink accent color and yeah, it's vertical scrolling. I'll just show you all my apps so you guys can go ahead and check them out to download. But realistically, there's not gonna be enough time to go through every single app in the list. So starting off my home screen, this is pretty much the same as it was before. Um, so I actually have my social apps on the first page and I just think they're more reachable there. I just personally like them um, right there, especially with my Gmail. I have a Google folder because Google apps and services are literally my life. I'm using them 24 seven. So I need to have them quickly available for me to access. YouTube studio, because I like looking at my analytics. I like looking at you guys comment and reply to you guys. And yeah, it's a really good app for YouTubers. If you're a YouTuber and you don't have this, then there's definitely something wrong there. So go get it. Um, but on page two, I have the calendar widget, like I mentioned. I have this really nice package tracker called Arrive. So if you haven't checked it out, it's really minimalistic. It automatically grabs all of the package uh, product codes and all the shipment ID numbers, and it goes ahead and pulls them into the actual app and sorts them. So you can go ahead and see where all your packages are automatically by connecting through Gmail. So really nice app, super simple and easy to use. And it's really handy for me because I'm getting tons of packages and it's really hard to keep track. I have my banking apps in here. I also have Oval. I mentioned that in the last what's on my phone video. Um, and then I have some galaxy apps, which pretty much I just use for my galaxy watch to keep it nice and updated, but I also have Samsung good Lock, So if you haven't already got that, um, you definitely need to go get it. It allows you to customize your device 
a ton and it's got loads of features. You can go ahead and tweak all of the animations and which information is showing in a notification pull down. You can change your lock screen as well as how the recent apps look. So if you want to customize your device and you're not really a big fan of the Samsung UI, this is a really good way of customizing it. On the bottom row, I have a home folder and this basically has so a smart app to unlock my door. It has smart life, which controls my lights and my cameras. I have the home app for all of my smart Google devices. I have the ring app for the ring doorbell, as well as rapid ring, which is basically just an app to quickly go ahead and view who's at your door because it tends to be pretty slow with ring. And then next to that, I have Fiverr. Fiverr is a really good way of making money just from doing small tasks that other people want. They simply go ahead and pay you, give you some requirements, and then you go ahead and do them and you get paid. Simple as that. I use it to earn a little bit more money on the side. And yeah, it's, if you don't want to get a job, but you want to make some money and you have some skills, it's a cool way of actually going ahead and making money. And by the way, it's not sponsored. It's just a recommendation. In the bottom right, we have Blackbox. This is a really cool recording app. It's just for phone calls. So if anyone calls you, blackmails you or says anything, or even if you just forget some information, you can go ahead and play back the call and see what they said. In my folder for movies, I have Showbox, which isn't working right now. Cyberflix and TTV, which kind of are working partially. And then on my last page, I have Amazon Flex, which is just like package delivery, but you don't need to be like a dedicated van driver. You can just do it in your car. Also a good way of making money. PowerShade, which gives you the Android P notification center, which is super nice. Um, Notify Buddy is one I mentioned in my top apps. This one gives you an LED notification light on phones that don't have one. Super useful if you're missing out on that. And then I have reverse search, which is just the image reverse search for Google. But obviously you don't have that option on Android. And so this app gives you that functionality, which is super handy if you're trying to get a high quality version of the image you have. Um, so yeah, cam scanner is just good for scanning in documents. If you haven't heard of that, then you need to download it. It's pretty useful if you don't have a scanner and it can come in handy when you're scanning in documents and sending PDFs to people. But yeah, that's pretty much everything on my home screen. That's my my setup. If you're curious about my favorite wallpaper apps, definitely going to be backdrops is number one. And then the other ones I tend to switch each month. So if you want to check those out, check out my top 10 Android apps video that will tell you a lot about my wallpaper choice. And then in terms of keyboard, which is actually pretty common, people ask me a lot about what keyboard I use. I use Gboard. I just find the text prediction really good. It's quite simple and it just looks pretty nice. So yeah, I can't really fault it. It's a great app for typing. I like the swipe feature. I like the ability to add GIFs and just the Google search feature in the keyboard. It's just pretty nice. And again, I like to keep everything very googly. So apart from that, that's pretty much it. That's that's everything that I have that's different about my device to probably what you have on your device. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know about my launcher, whether you like it. If you want to show me your backup, you can also send me a link down below. I'll take a look at it. I was thinking of starting a series where I do the top 10 setups of launchers. So let me know if you want me to do that down below. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace out, guys. I'll see you later. I live inside my own world of make-believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered.